Hello everyone, Bashar here. So Palladium uh, announced the end of winter events and the, the end of winter events uh, have an extra legendary event, which is, as you know, very popular. Uh, so this time it will be for ancient shards and uh, starting from the 21st of February, 9 a.m. UTC and lasting for two days, if you get a legendary from an ancient shard and you will get another uh, for free so how should we how should one go about this the the thing is you need to know your expectancy of getting a legendary right so uh, if you have a like maybe 20 percent chance it's not very worth it, but if your chance is actually quite higher then it could be worth it uh, the uh, most important factor in here is the mercy system so as you know uh, after your 200 ancient shard uh, if you haven't gotten a legendary so far you will start getting a very huge and serious bonus in the form of five percent per shard for a legendary and by five percent i don't mean uh, a five percent increased chance on the base half percent it just gets added it's an uh, additive bonus so your 201st shard actually has a, a chance of 5.5 percent for a legendary your 202nd shard has 10.5 percent 15.5 percent and so on so that means if you are able to go about 200 uh, this is definitely worth it right so uh, well, the problem with Mercy is unless you are using RSL Pro, uh, noting it down personally, uh, the game will not tell you uh, what your Mercy counter is at, right? So you have to keep track of it somehow, or you can let the add-on uh, keep track of it for, for somehow. Uh, so let's say you have 120 shards and your uh, Mercy counter is at 100 or so, so that means you definitely should open your shards till you get a legendary right because you will get a legendary that's for sure 100 percent there's no failing chance there but of course as i said the uh, your mercy counter is very important so mine is around 60 and i have around 100 ancient shards so it is slightly it actually not is slightly risky. it's very risky for me but the thing is guys uh, you can get ancient shards right i mean you can get them from the game frequently and there is also this horrible offer that you can do there is this one not this one hold up not yeah this one so this is infinitely viable and let's say as i said uh, my mercy counter is on 60 right and i have let's say 100 here so i will end up at 160 and i mean if i fail to get a legendary out of these i can spam that uh, till i get a legendary and of course it's very very costly sadly it, the, this is not a very good offer but i mean it's better than going halfway so if you have some gems you can force it but as i said uh, the number of your mercy counter plus the number of your ancient shards should be close to 200 if it is about 200 then no hesitation just open your shards till you get the legendary and then stop because in four days so uh, one day after the event ends we are getting double chance of uh, epics and legendaries on ancient shards on friday so you should uh, just open the minimum amount till you get the legendary and as I said, uh, your mercy count plus your uh, existing shards have to exceed, have to surpass 200. Um, so if you are not very sure when that is, that's a problem, right? But I mean, throw your mind back, try to remember what your last legendary from ancient shards was. That's very important. I'm not talking about your last, last void legendary and i'm also not talking about your last colored legendary either i'm talking about the last ancient legendary so for me if i recall correctly it was like 50 60 ancient shards ago and i believe it was minaya 
I mean, that's what I recall. And I am not very sure of my counter, sadly. Uh, but if you already keep track of it and you know, then it's easy, right? Add that number with this one. If it goes about 200, it's all fine and dandy. And of course, keep in mind that the event lasts for two days, which means we will be getting the reward from clan boss chests twice in the meanwhile. That would rack up like three or four or five. It varies, of course. It can even uh, give 10 ancient shards. It will give some ancient shards, though. I mean, if you are getting all the uh, chests, there will be the occasional weekly one from this one. Yeah, see, I am getting my weekly in 50 minutes. Uh, there will be one from the Tacti Marina shop, etc. Yeah. Oh, I am actually getting them both. Nice. So I will have around a hundred or so ancient shards. And if my mercy counter is indeed at 60 or so, I would have to spend gems. I mean, it's a little hard to gauge because the thing is we have double chance right after this. So if you try and fail, that's very bad. You definitely shouldn't do it, right? If you think there is a chance that you will not get the legendary, then you shouldn't open your shards and just wait for the double event because the double event gives you epics and legends and so on. And of course, your account power level is very important as well. For, for me, I'd say I'm mid game, maybe mid to late game ish. Uh, and for me, those colored epics have value. Because some some accounts just say, okay, I don't only care about legendaries. And I mean, maybe void epics can have some value for them, but colored epics do not really have value. And by colored, I mean uh, red, green, or blue. Void is kind of neutral, so I say just void for it. And for the others, I say colored. Uh, but for example, a geomancer would be extremely good for me. I'm not really very sure whatever other. Uh, thing is so the, the gist of it is guys your mercy counter plus your existing shards have to exceed uh, that and as I said one generally is able to remember what their last legendary was and you can probably divine when uh, that happened approximately and then you can say okay my mercy is at 50 60 100 or so and then you can decide if it's worth it or not and they added some more new by the way so we will be getting uh, drop fevers yeah right yeah drop fevers uh, on from from tuesday to oh no my mistake uh, from Wednesday to Saturday we will be getting triple regeneration on fire night this is great I mean for me it's very good and then we have the spider with triple silver accessory yeah, that's I mean this faction is barely very champions I mean I have a lot of those I'm not very hyped for this but of course there will be an accompanying spider tournament I would guess so we will go there and finally, oh, that's for Saturday to Sunday only. And from Sunday to Tuesday, we will have the Dark Elves once. Uh, so uh, that's about it for the Winter's End events. We will have triple drops on certain accessories and uh, regeneration set. And we will have an extra legendary event for ancient shards. And then, as I said, on Friday, we will have double chance of ancient. So uh, keep in mind. And if you exactly know your mercy count, be sure to open your shards one by one and not 10 by 10 after you eat that mercy because the legendary will be very close. That's about it, guys. Uh, see you later. Bye bye.